coming out to the art museum. Uh, make a little fucking noise for art. Hell yeah. So glad to have you here at the art museum. Today we're going to be going over some of art's greatest hits and having what I hope is a robust discussion about which ones are true bangers and which ones are overrated duds and clunkers. Okay, up first, Garden of Earthly Delights. This shit rips! It's basically like a Where's Waldo on acid. Tons of cool shit to look at. That's good art. This shit blows. Super boring? No cool shit to look at. This, however, is where art gets interesting as fuck. <laughs> Because this is the same artist as the previous piece, the Kid Claude Monet. However, you may notice that instead of being boring, this is actually chill, right? So something that those of us in academia often debate is, what is the difference between boring and chill? The answer? It honestly just comes down to vibes. <laughs> this brings us to the number one ranked artist of all time, Georgia O'Keeffe. What is it specifically that makes O'Keeffe the GOAT? It is because she exclusively painted vaginas and skeletons. <laughs> Which obviously rules. <laughs> so it is as of yet unknown as to why other artists don't simply paint vaginas and skeletons on account of how sick they are. But that is just one of art's beautiful mysteries that is yet to unravel itself to us. <laughs> Okay, this shit right here is fucking horrible to look at. Right? But, on the other hand, it absolutely fucking rips, right? So I love this piece because this is the duality of art laid bare. Because on one hand, these teeny tiny elephant legs make me want to fucking barf. But on the other hand, a gun coming out of a tiger, coming out of a tiger, coming out of a pit fish, coming out of a pomegranate, you can't deny Dali went sicko mode. <laughs> Speaking of going sicko mode, Picasso's Guernica, okay? Now, my boy Pablo is absolutely out of his fucking gourd on this one, and I do mean that as a compliment indeed. So this shit right here, this shit right here is a savage critique of Generalissimo Franco selling out his people to the fascist Germans. If I may say so myself, Pablo put his freaking nuts on Franco's head with this one. <laughs> I'd like to conclude by answering a common question we get here all the time at the art museum, which is, how do you define art? Great question. The answer is actually pretty simple. Statues, like poems, songs, movies, and books, while often dope, are not art. Okay? <laughs> Artist paintings? I hope that clears it up. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on this discussion of the wide world of art. If anyone would like to continue this discussion, I will be in the gift shop doing yo-yo tricks. <laughs>